אל שומיה פתילה ותחלונה, ותחלנו אותה, ברוך אתה אדוני שומיה פתילה. May it be your will, Lord our God, God and God of our ancestors, to lead me on the way of peace and guide and direct my steps in peace, so that you will bring me happily to my destination, safe and sound. Save me from danger on the way. Give me good grace, kindness, and favor, both in your eyes and in the eyes of all whom I may meet. Hear this my prayer for you are a God who listens to the heart's request. Fulfill for me your words. Behold, I am sending before you an angel to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Blessed are you, O Lord, who hearkens the prayer of my soul. Amen. The center candle is higher, yes? So according to Jewish tradition, the candles that are lower, in other words, the eight, are ones that we look at that represent Hanukkah. They represent the miracle of the oil and ones that we do not use. We do not reflect on the light. So even if we had uh, oil burning or any other kind of, of mechanism that, that would reflect on the oil, uh, reflect on the miracle, um, we do not use that. The only light that we use is from the tall one. In fact, it is known as the shamash, it's a helper candle. And if we had a candle tonight that we would be lighting, we would take the helper candle and then light each particular uh, uh, individual candle, increasing each night until we conclude with the eight days of the festival so that all candles would be lit. <coughs> so what's the point of the helper candle? Um, there's a beautiful uh, explanation that I heard that, uh, and we already know this, this is not something that is new, no matter how many candles are lit from the original one, the original candle never loses its luminescence, never loses its power, never loses its, its uh, ability to light. The light that is given or the fire that is taken from the helper candle continues burning as if it was untouched so that the, the giving of that original light to others does not mean any diminishment in any of the subsequent candles. So in, uh, in Judaism, what we're talking about here is taking the idea of the helper candle, and this is the one that reflects on how it is that we're coming across to others. We're giving part of the light of Judaism to others. Welcome, please have a seat. We're giving the light of Judaism to others from the helper candle, but we are not diminished. In fact, we are enhanced in our ability to relate to the divine, to the spirituality that is present in Judaism, and we do not diminish as a consequence of our giving. So this is something that is core in terms of Hanukkah, what the helper candle represents, and how it is that we look at light, and what it is that we do in life. Okay, any questions about what I'm saying? Very brief, brief talk. All right? Do you have a hand up? No. No, okay, all right. So for those of you who would like to follow, um, we're just doing, well, let's say just. Blessed is the Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who hallows us with his mitzvot and commands us to kindle the Hanukkah light. Blessed is the Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who performed wondrous deeds for our ancestors in days of old at this season. All right, uh, so may I tell you all, um, I'm going to... <laughs> it's all right, I'm trying to watch my way. I'm sorry, Mayor Kazayas, yes. So what this nice lady is saying, that Kazayat is an olive, and according to Jewish tradition, there's a 
requirement in Jewish law that when you make blessings, it's done on something a little bit bigger than this. <laughs> um, but um, I think God will forgive me if I, that's the end of a voyage and um, it'll be okay. So for those of you who are familiar with uh, the bracha, the blessing, Borei mi name is Oro. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohen Melech Olam. Borei mi name is Oro. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe who created various things. Amen. Now the potato comes from the ground, and so this has a different blessing. Similar to vegetables. All right. I don't know if this doesn't qualify for because I invited, right? No. All right. I'm sorry? <laughs> That's okay. All right. This is now going to be an olive, according to my own. All right. So um, the blessing here is Bore Kriha Dhamma. Baruch Adonai Adonai Eloheinu Melech Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who created the fruits of the earth. Um, I bought this on, um, on Yota, are available?